Merry Christmas folks. As you may have seen by the introduction there, Santi's been, uh, well Santi's been, I bought it myself, but my mother-in-law gave me the, the cash for it. So <clears throat> what did we get? Well, one of the things we got was this Martin de Candra original. I'm quite partial to Martin de Candra. He says dumping the card in the sink. I'm sure it will dry. Basically gives you an instruction sheet of how to use Martin de Candra. Instructions. Instructions. The soap ingredients are on the back of the box. As you can see there's not many of them. And this is lavender, rosemary and thyme. Comes in the standard PET jar. And so this, this is the original scent. Brand new. There we go. Skim to the top. This scent has been around since the mid 80s. I believe and yeah I like the candra simple soap it just works scents are complex but subtle and that's the way I like my soaps really brush Cabanas and Richardson 26 mil two band badger these were sold and retailed by Magards sold out last year but I like it. Aluminium handle, turned aluminium handle. And the razor is a Pills. My uh, Pills 101 NE. As you can see, there's no knurling on it. It's a two piece razor. Turn the handle, and the top cap comes off. And it's totally flat. It holds the blade totally flat. Use it input. Blade angle is down to me. And I'm using Persona Super Stainless again, but there's only one of them. There's a bit of flex in this blade, unlike the last time I used it where there was two stuck together. So as you can see, the blade's loaded there. There's, just, there's no curvature at all to the blade. Top cap goes on, there's no overhang, tabs are covered. About four turns the handle and you're done. There you go. I call this Thor's Hammer. It's a fantastic razor. Great heft to it. Uh, and like my second head as well. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's been there about four days. It just won't come to a head as such so I can give it a pop. Well, I've got a friend for Christmas. Dinner's mainly cooked. Venison's cooked. That was in the oven most of the night. Slow cooked, slow roasted venison. That's what we're having this afternoon. We've just got the veg to sort out really. Roast potatoes, carrots, Brussels sprouts, stuffing. Uh, and caffeine. So, the damp brush. You don't need much Martin de Candra. Many swirls. And it's 200 grams of soap. Yeah, it's not the cheapest. But that should be more than enough, he says, going back to the puck. Yeah, it's Christmas morning. I wonder how many of the normal creators are stood in front of a camera on Christmas morning recording the shave. My wife's away chatting to the family, so, or her family anyway. 
and uh, yeah, all is good in the world. So, was Santa Claus good to you? I heard the night list got cancelled, so everybody on that list was okay. I've got a few bits and bobs. I've got the Martin de Candre, but I bought that myself. <coughs> I say I used the money from my mother in law. Also picked up some Mont Blanc Explorer. Yeah, lovely light scent. Lavender, rosemary, and mint. It's quite forward in the lavender. Mint's quite subtle at this moment in time, but it's first use. The candras tend to get better if we just leave them. Once you use them with the lid off, and the harder they get. So the only decandra I'm missing is rose. I'm not a big fan of rose scents, hence the reason I'm missing it. But you never know, it may well appear in the future. Never say never. But I think with the amount of decandra I've got, will be good for a few years yet. Yes, it's not a towel or so, but between Wickham and Decandre, I could be happy if those are the only soaps I had. So, was Santa Claus good to you? Did he? The advantage of being a wet shaver is people come by blades if they haven't got much money. Took a blades. Two or three, two or three pounds. Get you a brush. Soap, soap's plentiful. You know what I mean. I could probably get more water into this. Still feels a, bit, a little bit dry. But so we've got the pills. One oh one and a. No, it's not slippy, despite there being no knurling. If it was slippy, just get an Allen block, rub on your fingers, and it will not move. Yes, it's a long handle. I think this is one of my best razors. It just works. You have to hold it a little bit sharp, uh, not a shallow, a little bit of a sharper angle. Not blade, not only one of them, feels pretty good. Also, got a couple of uh, what they called fragrance samples from the Artisan Boutique in London. A shame blue, one's Kingswood, which I've already got, but one was in my bottom here. Little 10 mil vial, so it's quite good to travel with. And blueberry woods was the other one. That smells quite nice. They're both ADPs. I bought Explorer. I've got clubs in a way. I'm also just about to burn through a couple of. After shaves and EDTs. And it was a flick up between Explorer, which I tried during the summer, had a little, I've got a vial. Mother in law bought some for herself to spare it as a, as a house spray, and she gave me the, the remnants of a, a three mil sample, so enough for one shave. I don't want any creative Juventus because I'm a cheapskate. I 
quite like Clifton away in tents. The Explorer is different from that. Just slightly. But it's just as it's it's also a superb scent when it's all right. I managed to get a bottle for forty pounds. What's that? For about forty five euros. But it was a flick up between that and from the leak. I do like better there. So I think I need to get a hold of some Uncle Uncle Noir Extreme. Scent on this soap, I say it's Martin de Candre, it's subtle. It's uh, nice and the soap performance is spot on. There's only five ingredients in it. But there's it's made with essential oils. So, the question you know, that people will ask is, what's your favourite? Well, I've got Verve, Fougere, uh, Argumes, which is citrus, and the unscented. I like Verve. I like the Fougere. But they're quite, those two are actually quite similar. The Fougere is cleaner than the Verve. But the better there I could use every day of the week. This is definitely more lavender forward. Uh, the citrus, crack and salt, the so is the unscented. As bad as that is, you can wear with it what you like. So as of tomorrow the UK is basically a level 4 lockdown, which means nothing's happening anywhere. I think it's midnight tomorrow night and Boxing Day it starts. A few people say this shave is very similar to the Feather uh, ASD2, I think it is. Hence the reason I don't want a Feather ASD2. But there's one way that I'm waiting to be made available again with a view to maybe buying it. We shall see, that's for the future, if it happens. No, it's not a carve. But you can have a guess in the comments what it is. But I won't answer, in case the wife's watching. Three goes the back.
I didn't intend to video this today, but I thought, what the hell, I'll video it, get it uploaded. And get it pushed out. And if things go to plan, it's Friday today. Going for going walk on the golf course in the morning to get rid of today's excesses. Which there may be a few. Mainly roast potatoes. Tucked in duck fat. Blankets and gravy. It's all you need for Christmas dinner, isn't it? Those three. It's a big bowl of each and just oh, happy man. Keep things simple. So Sunday, cold water shave. next on the list we'll get that one done dusted not the way and that folks yeah I thought I'd overload it a bit it's me done there's plenty of lather left in that brush first use to it was that the candra so time for a face wash back in a minute <clears throat> quite enjoyed that right like I said keeping things simple boots witch hazel and tea tree I think there's a little bit of menthol in this I can't remember no there's not it's basically a facial cleanser from boots the chemist in the UK which is one tea tree. Give it a shake. Here we go. We'll give it a minute or so to go off. As far as shares go, that was pretty enjoyable. That one. Ah. Right. I suppose one of the advantages of that being quite a subtle soap is you can wear what the hell you like with it afterwards. So, I've brought, I've broke out the Explorer. Let's have a, an Explorer day today. So, I have one or two little weepers. The pill's been quite, despite being quite mild, will draw blood. So, to save 
in the first instance, dancing around like I've just been smacked by my mum as a seven year old because of the pain. A few scratches in the hand. Well, mates, some of the alcohol dissipate. And it gives you a base layer to work off. And you can apply more afterwards. Instead of, oh, that stings. Next, I'm going with British Barbers Association Balm. I haven't used this for a while. So all we need is one squirt. Yeah, it looks like crap, but it's really good. I'm not sure it's available anymore. And once we've finished, we shall adorn some more Explorer. So right, quick recap of what we used today. Soap, Martin de Candra original, Ro lavender, rosemary and mint. Obviously it's more of a lavender scent, but it's not out and out lavender. You can you do detect the rosemary. Didn't get much mint, but I haven't got the best nose. Despite it having a second head at the moment. Typical Decandra performance, it just works and uh, it's a soap base I like. Not the cheapest, but I reckon with the five tubs I've got, I could have, that'll probably last five years, if not longer. So yeah, pretty good value for money when you throw it into those sort of connotations. The razor, Pills 101 NE, German made, built like a panzer and shaves brilliantly. And the blade was a vintage Persona stainless, just one of them this time for a change. Having inadvertently had two of them stuck together. Brush, Carvanis and Richardson, two band badger. Really nice handle shave, very ergonomic. I quite like the brush, yeah, it's, it's a keeper for me. And post shave, which is on tea tree from Boots. Post shave balm from the British Barbers Association. And Explorer. That point, if I'd done that earlier, I'd have been dancing. Better than your hand, but dancing. So, folks, there we go. Uh, Merry Christmas to one and all. If you have any comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.